Hello, trombone friends. This is Dr. Jeff Phillips from Belmont University. And I am now looking at the 1112 Trombone Technical Etude. Okay, so look at this booger. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm gonna say this and you can get mad, but I hope you're looking at this in like August or early September. You've got to be able to play your B flat scale comfortably up to that B flat. It's in this etude. If that's the highest note you can play, this will give you lots of problems. And reality check, there are a lot of really fine trombone players, which is a good thing, in Middle Tennessee, and they're gonna nail it. So start working now on, I know you can play, I know my B flat scale, Good. You better know that B flat scale. And I would suggest trying at least to do a C, maybe a D. You might not play them that way for the audition, but if you can play higher comfortably or with a minimal amount of strain, then the B flat's going to be well within your range. But if the B flat's the highest note you can ever play on a good day when the wind's from the north and the barometric pressure is at 56, yeah, it's not going to be good. Okay? So I'm just telling you that. You can get mad. You can hate me if you want. But this is a video. I probably don't even know who you are. All right. So, six, eight time. Eighth note equals. That's a good clip. I'm not going to play it that fast. Uh, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, one, two, and three, four, five, and six, one. Now, if you've got some special way that your band director has taught you to count that in six, eight, good for you. But the eighth note is getting a beat, and that way it's going to be a little, you can guarantee yourself a little more security. All right. So here we go. Here's our B flat scale, because that's what the first thing is. Take out the rhythm. There it is. Okay, so you gotta be able to do that. Then you put the rhythm in. On the technical things, they don't have quite as many slurs. This one has like three or four, it looks like. But I try to put a little more separation also look for the accents. One, two, and three, four, five, ding, da, 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 D. The first beat of the measure is gonna get the main emphasis. The fourth beat, the fourth eighth note, is going to get the next amount, so. Light, not short. Here's the difference. Here's, I'm gonna play them short. That's just downright ugly. Please don't ever do that. Light. Just coming off of the slur. See the difference? I hope you did. And I hope you'll play it more like the last time than that other time that I did. Uh, which was wrong on purpose, so I like to point that out. Okay. Be very deliberate with one, two, da, 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 that you're thinking that subdivision, so you put that 16th note in exactly the right spot. Okay. That little arpeggio I just did comes down to B flat. Uh, it says mezzo piano, but you're going to need a little bit of power for that low F and G so that you don't fluff out. You don't want that to happen. So mezzo piano, yes, make a difference between mezzo forte and mezzo piano, but don't wuss out, okay? Uh, slur in there yeah so don't do that um it's articulated and each one of those eighth notes can be a little more than the last one as it leads you up to forte Okay, 
things almost caught me off guard. Well, I can admit, they did. So, the, look at the last line. I've got G flats, and then all of a sudden it's G naturals. So, harmonically. G flat goes to the measure. And on the G flat. I think I might have played a D flat there. If I did, I was wrong. Um, make sure that the measure 12 is D naturals. So, 11. 2s they don't have something specifically written uh like a retard or something like that i would i wouldn't put that in i disagree with that director and i told him so um i i think you need to use a little common sense and and put a little retard there as long as it's not stupid sounding uh, uh and and you definitely don't want to like chop the last note off too soon uh that goes under that last category that everybody thinks is very vague called musicality um so well, that's not very musical, is it? That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. All those dotted eight sixteenths, D, da, da, D, da, da, D, da, da. Make sure you're very exact on those. I would kind of lift off the ties in measure, six, measure eight and ten. on the, the front end of the note uh, and just keep it in time. Okay. So, there's some very uh, quick dynamic changes in this. Uh, use good taste. Hello, I'm scared. So there. Use good taste. Uh, just because it says forte doesn't mean hurt men, women, children, babies, uh, dogs, small animals. Um, Except for cats, you, you can hurt cats. Um, but uh, you know, use a little bit of taste. Yeah, here, what's, what's the difference between mezzo forte and forte? Well, a little bit, not that much. But exaggerate your dynamics. Well, exaggerate without being obnoxious. Okay. Um, I bet you know people that exaggerate things, and you hate to be around them, or maybe you're with that person. Um, yeah, just. just When a difference makes a difference, then it makes a difference. Write that down. All right. So uh, pay attention to the dynamics, but don't get like obsessive over them. Uh, articulation, I'll put a little space in between all the notes on this one, except for those two or three sp spots where it's D, ya, da, D, ya, da. Oh, yeah, and on those. Um, avoid clipping the second note too much, like. That doesn't sound good, does it? No, so just if you just lift off that note, kind of let nature take its course, um, you don't have to stop at the second note of those eighth note passages with the tongue. Uh, that, that becomes ugly, and we don't want to be ugly, do we? All right, so that I believe is it. And uh, of course, like I say, the uh, tempo 176, 192, that is faster than what I demonstrated it at, but don't go there yet. All right? I'm doing these in August. Uh, hopefully, you're looking at them in August or at least early September or at least mid September. Um, so, you've got time to go through things slowly and deliberately and be very exact and then work speed them up. Don't try to go too fast too soon. You'll get things uneven and it'll be like bum pa bum 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 da pa pa da pa da pa beep beep bum 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 bum
And the face I just made will be what will be going on behind the cardboard screen. And that's not a good thing. So you want to keep a steady tempo. So you learn it on the slower side when you kind of get comfortable. A little notch every day. Because you're going to be practicing every day, aren't you? All right. So that is it. And happy tromboning.